Hi, this is Mar or Luigi, and uh, yes, I'm number one. But uh, I went to his store during the summer with PA Fabio 27, and we thought it was awesome, and uh, we want to go back. But uh, I'll, I heard about this store because, well, Craigslist, and they said they have a wide assortment of games, and uh, it's called Retro Mics, and if you live in the Gettysburg area, I would I would highly recommend you check it out because um, um, it, it, I mean the guy is very nice he gave me a lot of good deals because I knew a lot of uh, about video games and uh, and uh, he was very he was very good and uh, and uh, he had a he had a huge assortment of good games too it was just I probably said that but yeah it's called retro mics and uh, it's a new Oxford but um Here's a business card. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's in New Oxford. It's uh, um, 4335 York Road, Route 30, New Oxford, Pennsylvania. It's called Retro Mike's. And uh, I want to go there once every year because it's a far away from Harrisburg. So, all right. Now, what I got there. And we love this store. We want to go back and during the summer, but... Um, I don't have my driver's license and I'll get in the summer but um, I got these for free because he couldn't sell them and uh, the first one I got this because my br brother's a huge fan of Jeopardy and he has a Genesis so here's Jeopardy this is a hard game like I cannot answer the questions like I can put them in it's just I cannot answer them and uh for free. I can always trade it in, but I won't. Okay, Al Unser's Road for the Top, made by Mind Shit or Mindscape. They made Mario is Missing for the Super Nintendo and Mario's Time Machine for the Super Nintendo. Also there are NES versions, but uh this is uh this is a shit game, but I can always trade it in and it's in good shape, so Um, the next one is Super Play Action Football, the sequel to NES Play Action Football, but on Super Nintendo. And I got this for free. I'm not a huge football fan, but this was in good shape, and I think I can trade this in. And, uh, mm, can't complain. Alright, now for their, another game. Um, where the fuck did it go? Oh, I, I must be losing my stuff. Um, this is, there's also a 32X version, but uh, World Series Baseball 95, and this is San Francisco Giants. I'm so mad that they won the World Series and not the Texas Rangers. <sighs> they have another year, but uh, but they got in the World Series for the first time. So mad that they lost. And Tommy Lasorda baseball. I heard of this game because mm, Booger Bobby Meister said it was a good game, good game. And also the guy looks like Bill Clinton. <laughs> um, it's a pretty good game, and it was a 1989 baseball game, and it looks pretty good to this day. But for free, not a baseball fan, but it's still pretty good. Okay, now on to the games I got. Uh, I uh, good games I got. Now these games were marked four dollars before, and I got these games for two dollars and fifty cents, um, because the guy liked me and he's very nice. Um, okay, f starting off with Virtual Racing. I heard of this game because M and Twelve Birds uh, reviewed this, and you gotta check his channel out. I'm giving more of a shout out to him. Um, this used. SVP technology. I don't know if you can see it. SVP technology. That means Sigma Virtual Processor, and uh, it gave out very fast 3D graphics, very smooth. Uh, it lo looks. It's just um, no comparison between Star Fox and this game. But this game was fucking expensive back then. A hundred dollars for the cartridge, and it's the only game that uses this. But uh, two dollars and fifty cents. Not a bad deal. 
and Aladdin for the Sega Genesis complete. And uh, this was a good game. I also heard about it with M and Twelberg. It has Disney animators working on this game, so it has smooth animation and very good animation. And it's music's done by Ta Tommy Tallarico, and he's known for the Years One Jim series. And um, don't let Irate Gamer fool you. He fucked up the review of Aladdin um, for for the Super Nintendo. And the Super Nintendo version is actually good, is pretty good still, but this game beats it by a little bit. But check it out. Okay, now for the good games. Um, let's just start off with, oh yes, the best Castlevania game out there. Super Castlevania 4. Um, you can shoot in all directions. But fantastic game, and it showed what the Super Nintendo was capable in 1990. Um, also, I got this for 15 bucks. It didn't sell so well, a million units, but uh, one of the best games of all time, and it's in great shape. So 15 bucks, Super Metroid. Very good game. Very good. Very good. It's just, it's uncomparable. I mean, this is just fantastic for the Super Nintendo. And it's just unbelievable. It's just, I, I cannot explain how good, awesome this game is. Okay, I know I had Donkey Kong Country 1, but there's a trilogy. Why not get Donkey Kong Country 2? They improve so much in this game. I know there's Donkey Kong missing, but they have uh, Dixie Kong. Fast gameplay, great graphics, and uh, better gameplay uh, overall. And uh, and it's just Dixie Kong's a lot faster. And actually, the music is just unbelievable. It's just Sticker Rush Symphony. It just soothes you. It's just, uh, just so magical. David Wise was just such a great composer. And this game is just... One of my all-time favorites. I'm glad I got this. And why not get, why not get the uh, first two if I can't complete the trilogy with Donkey Kong Country 3. Dixie Kong, Dong, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. That's Dixie, Diddy's Conquest. And uh, yeah, um, they added Kitty Kong. No Donkey Kong. No Dix, Diddy Kong. But they added Kitty Kong and Dixie Kong. Why would Rare do that? It's not my decision, but um, this was the black sheep of the trilogy. It's not bad. It's still a damn good game, but it's just... Um, they kind of screwed up, but the graphics are just fantastic. And it didn't sell as well as they hoped. Two million units. I mean, two million copies. But still... Um, it was released in uh, 1996, November 1996, when the uh, N64 came out. And uh, it's still a good game. And I'm glad I picked that one up. And now for the last game. I'm very glad I got this. I was going to get some uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day, but I wanted to get this instead. It was, it was Mario Kart 64 in the box. But, um... The thing about this was it was twenty dollars, and uh, um, it's, he he want he said he'll uh, he'll give it to me for fifteen bucks. But here's the thing: I wanted to trade in a Sega CD game called Road Rash. I don't have a Sega CD, so I also got it at a Goodwill for fifty three cents, and so I got five dollars in store credit, and I got it complete. So Mario Kart sixty four in the box. For ten dollars, woohoo! Yeah, now that's all my retro mics pickups, and I sh there's some things I should have got. So I didn't know if he accepted credit cards or not, but um, I should have got it. It um should have got Conker's Bad Fur Day in the box, but I didn't have the cash, and uh, also he w I wanted to get an NES for thirty dollars, but uh. It wasn't ready, and plus he was still cleaning them. 